Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, I got a weird one for you. And this is a Swiss Army pin. Okay. Now, this pin is made, let me see if I can get it so y'all can see it in the comment. It's made by Wagner of Switzerland, right? Now, Wagner is not Winger, W-E-N-G-E-R, the company that makes Swiss Army knives, the other company that used to make Swiss Army knives. And so Wagner and Winger are different. And the Wagner Swiss Army pin uses Victorinox parts. So, yeah, that's a weird thing going on there. And it comes in a little kind of fancy container thing like this, if you are interested. I didn't think about it, but I guess you could do it like that and save it as a box. Anyway, it completely irrelevant. So, the Wagner of Switzerland pin with Victorinox parts, not Winger parts. Okay, so stuff about this. First of all, you've got a light here. If you push down the little Swiss Army symbol, you get a light. You get a light. Wow, you can hardly see that. Can y'all see that? There's a little bitty light right there. So not much light. Wow, there isn't much light, is there? Okay. So we got that. Now let's see. You have the traditional nail file, like you would get on the Victorinox Classic. You have the little blade that you would get on the Victorinox Classic. And if you can see, can y'all see that? I'm trying to get it so you can see it in the camera. The blade says Victorinox on it. I don't know if that's coming out through the camera or not. There we go. It says Victorinox. So you get the little knife blade. Now you get the scissors. Now here's the thing about the scissors. I don't know how I feel about these scissors being here. It's like, it's not as awful as it seems like it should be, but it's still pretty inconvenient. I kind of sort of feel like sometimes you might not want to mix things like this. I mean, it's kind of a neat idea, but I don't know if the scissors were the choice right there. And additionally, you got a pen. And let me grab some paper. Okay. So, this is the Wagner of Switzerland uh, with the Victorinox parts. Not Not Winger. All right. So there's that. So let's see about unscrewing this thing. Let's see what kind of refills it takes. All right. Looks like a not completely alien kind of refill. Uh, I want to say it's a Parker style refill. Let me check real quick as I happen to have a Parker Jogger on hand and available. So let's see what we got. Is it the same refill? No. Not even a little bit. So it's the same refill. I wonder if I can pull this little nubby thing off. Can I? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. All right, so ruining Parker Jotter refills aside, I'm not sure what size refill that is. It looks familiar, but seems a bit off. Anyway, so it takes a whatever this refill is. If you know what this refill is, let me know in the comments. It looks familiar, but I'm just not sure what it is. Anyway. 
So it takes that kind of refill. There's a spring. Good deal. All right. This might sound kind of funny, but the pin part seems pretty well made. It's just, I don't know, it just feels like a really weird choice. I don't know. I don't know how crazy I am about this whole... Hmm. Got a clip there if you want to clip it to something. Man, the light is just not very bright. Can you all see that at all? Like there's practically no light from it. Might need a new battery. If you need to replace the battery, you see that, let's see, you see that little hole right there? If you insert like a pen or a paper clip or something in there, what it'll do is it'll push this battery out and there's a, I could just show you, hold on a second. I was going to say, I could explain it, but I could just also show you how to do it. Seems much simpler. And I think the little micro screwdriver from this will fit. Yeah, it will. Okay, so all you do is you insert it in here and you push. Does it want to come out, does it? Oh, there we go. Well, at least it pushed open the door a little bit. There's a door on the other side. Wow, this is being difficult. Why are you being so difficult? Is it stuck in there? Maybe it's, like, gotten old or something. Let's see. I guess it could just push a little harder. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. I was expecting it to be like a door instead of just like a little gate thing. So anyway, it comes out there and you just slide a new battery in. Like so. Maybe like so. Yep, you just slide a new battery in. And then you put the little door thing back on. And that's it. Well, that's almost it. Man. Sometimes life is tough with gloves on. Alright. So you slide this thing back in. Why does this not want to go back in? Okay. As with most things in life, there are not that many things that can't be fixed with a Swiss Army knife. And this is one of them. I'll show you. Alright. Am I putting it in upside down? Might have been putting it in upside down. There we go. I was putting it in upside down. But, as I said, most things in life can be fixed with a Swiss Army knife. At least most things related to Swiss Army knives or weird pins and that kind of thing. So, what do you think? Is this a strange, weird pin that no one needs? It's kind of an oddity. I mean, that is for sure. And you couldn't carry it on an airplane because of the knife. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And if you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And... I hope you all have an excellent day.